The water of Flint, Michigan has been poisoned. The problems began when the city switched its water source to the Flint River to save money. But the corrosive river water wasn't properly treated and stripped lead from pipes. Children were being contaminated by lead. Lowered IQ, emotional problems, behavioral problems. This is the personal health equivalent of having been shot. Leanne Walters started noticing physical and developmental delays in her kids. We found out my child had lead poisoning. We were told by the state nurse, it's just a few IQ points. It's not the end of the world. Leanne blamed the water. I went up to the emergency manager. He's like, I don't believe that's your water. No more poison! No more poison! Complaints were met with aggressive dismissal, belittlement, and attempts to discredit. City officials continue to say the water meets all state and federal standards. We're not making any recommendations for changed behavior. The city's still putting out reports. Here's the plan. That the water's fine, and it's not. I decided we need to get to the science if anyone was ever going to believe us. I started researching and educating myself about water because people had a right to know. Her story sparked researchers to do their own testing. They were the worst results we've seen in 25 years. When pediatricians hear about lead anywhere, we freak out. A local doctor started studying blood samples from kids in Flint. Dr. Mona Hanna Atisha led the study on children. What we found was alarming. The percentage of children with elevated lead levels doubled in the whole city. And in some neighborhoods, it tripled. So we shared these results at a press conference. Right away, the state attacked me. The state of Michigan tried to dismiss her study. I was called an unfortunate researcher that I was splicing and dicing numbers. When the state tells you you're wrong, you second guess yourself. But that lasted just a short period and we told them why, no, you were wrong. Two weeks later, officials acknowledged her findings were correct. President Obama declared Flint, Michigan, a disaster area, clearing the way for federal aid. It took a village of incredibly brave people to expose this. This was the ultimate betrayal for the citizens. I wouldn't shut up. They messed with the wrong mama. My personal mission in this now is to change the way the state is testing for lead and copper. My job as a pediatrician is to make sure that the kids have the brightest future ahead of them. Our story is not done. We have to give them hope. We'll hopefully inspire others to use their voices when they see injustices to speak up.